Hi there, it's Shell and Clint. Hey guys. <laughs> Clint is working in the background. Um, we finished this in the last video as far as making it into a journal. But now we're going to just do some last minute like um, <clears throat> decorating, that kind of thing. So, I thought I would just bring you guys along and we would do that. It is Tuesday and uh, Tuesday afternoon and it's been a nice day still a little chilly out but it's not horrible I say chilly but like right now I feel cold <laughs> we've had the front door open for a little bit so these are some um, some charms that my sweet friend gave me thank you Leslie and I thought I would just go through some that I, you know, like set aside um, for me because otherwise I need to go and get my other pat, other other bit. <coughs> but I think she sent me extra. <coughs> so I am going to let's see what I want in here. Maybe a little dog. I have a cat. Let's do a little dog and a little cat. <coughs> yeah, let's do that. Instead of going back and getting like the whole big old container that she sent me. <laughs> I meant to get it while I was back there, but I forgot. So we'll do that and then I'm putting on a strawberry and a watermelon. I think that'll be really cute. Kind of go with the theme of the book. It's just kind of an eclectic little theme. And I like to put um, charms on, you know, the, the uh, thread, the nylon thread. I just think it makes it look really nice if I have the charms. Then I certainly use those. <clears throat> so, what are you doing back there, honey? I am working on my our design team. Oh yeah, our design uh, team project. For Shabby Dabby Doodah. Shabby Dabby Doodah. So, Clint has a pretty cool idea, so that'll be fun, you know, in the future for you guys to check out. Um, he's going to do the cover like he typically does, and then I'll do the inside. I'm not sure, you know, what I will show about it, but... I am really excited about it. It's yeah, a new thing for me. It's a new idea that he came up with, and I think it'll be really fun. For Miss Tina over at Shabby Dabby Doo Doll, she's got some beautiful digitals. Yeah. And we're, we're looking forward to using some and sharing them with you guys. The cats are pretty much all asleep, it looks like, which is nice. Yeah, except for yours, I guess, huh? Looks yeah, like everybody's yeah. asleep except for Biddy. So, Clint was going to, he's going to work on a couple of ink blenders, because we still have a couple to fill. And, uh, but his little guy was laying in his lap, and I thought, well, I'll do a video before, you know, he starts making noise, because the uh, <coughs> cutter thing makes a lot of noise. Oh, yeah. And then I walked and got some stuff in the back bedroom and came back and his little guy's like, I'm done with daddy. <laughs> yeah, he wants to go work out the door. I see a cat out there. I want to go visit. <laughs> That's exactly what it was, too. Yeah, so it's kind of kind of funny. But we're just, just enjoying the day, enjoying the week. Yes. Oh. My, um... Sinuses are still bothering me. My allergies, I think, is what they are. I've been yeah. sneezing all day, and it's just still kind of still kind of getting to me. So I cut these off, but I try to leave like half an inch or so, just in case I need to tug it and make sure it's tight, you know? So, this is turning out so cute, guys. I have an idea for this. I'm not going to be selling this one, and you'll see it in the future, but not oh, not, not uh, anytime soon. Oh. Well, unless we get, you know, <coughs> Clint knows I'm not selling it. I told him that. Well, you may have. 
But I did get, I don't know, some stuff I just picked up. Oh, see where I put it, because, you know, you guys know how I am. Really? You have your quilt on, baby. I do. So I got some little tiny pieces in these boxes that are like in my, um, in the back bedroom, but they're little like library pockets that I kind of designed. I don't know if someone else probably has the same thing out there somewhere. And I wanted to use those because I really loved using um, those one pieces from my friend uh, Martha. And I was going to look in here. These are fun little boxes that I just like to store little things in. So, let's see, there's one I could use. Just cute little things here and there. Maybe. So yeah, just just using some oh, of some of my scraps, you know. I wanted one more of those. I don't think I want to do that one. Not that one. That's trick or treat. Thinking of like ones that had those little bulb pins on it. Okay. So that I can like put them here. I think that'll be really cute. Oh, and that's red. That's really cute. Okay. So just kind of decorating today, and I just thought, you know, I'll bring you guys along. But yeah, this. Like I said, it's not for sale. It will be a giveaway, but it'll be uh, a little ways in the future. So be be sure and watch for that. Hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the videos because I think you guys are going to like this uh, giveaway when we have it. But it's going to be a little, little while. So where do I want this? I thought I had another piece of lace. <laughs> that one, I could put it on this maybe. That'd be kind of cute, just hanging. I just thought that'd be kind of a fun little thing to do, you know. Come on, you. There we go. Yeah, that's cute. These are just some things I've made and had in my scraps or in my um, stash. I have a big stash pile. <laughs> kind of big. It seems to dwindle quite a bit, you know. This is a little matchbox. And it just has like some paper there that I turned into a um, paper clip. I think this was from Tracy of... Oh, my brain just went... Closed. I have to think what her name is. My brain just quit working, but you guys know that's nothing new for me. Yeah, that's not a new experience, that's for sure. <laughs> Tracy Fox, I think is who it was, yeah. Back in back Christmas a couple of years ago, I think. No, it's not anything new, huh? And this little piece, it has the, um, it's like a fold over. It has the envelopes in there. And where did my, there it is. So I'll just kind of decorate with that. This is the fun part. Once you get it made into a book, it's just, you know, it's just kind of fun to, to kind of decorate and put your goodies in here. Like I want to do something here, like maybe a uh, collage or something on this page. And you know what I need? I need my weight. So let me find that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I got my weight here. I think that was from my friend Cindy. Hi Cindy. So nice. I love it. Sorry, there's hair there. Okay. So 
what I want to do is like something on this one, whether it's a pocket or some, um, okay, just stay open. <laughs> okay? Yeah, whether it's a pocket or some, um, you guys know what I'm talking about, collaging. I tell you these, uh, <clears throat> ooh, this would be pretty on there these allergies right now. Ugh, kind of draining me. Okay, so I saw this and I think that would be cute like collaged on there. That was from my friend. Sorry, my brain just quit working. Oh, but yeah, allergies. Ugh. I felt fine and then I laid back down about 8 o'clock. Then when I woke up, I had a tickle in my nose. <laughs> I figure it's like, you know, the cats or something. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of this because I love this paper. And that I think that would be really cute as far as um, collage on there. Isn't that cute? I love that. So I'm going to gonna tear it I think. I do have my little terror thing ruler. I think I have these listed below but if I don't and you're interested then certainly let me know. Uh oh. Daddy went outside to cut up cut some wood and little guy his little guy just came out. It's like where's daddy? I didn't want him when daddy was in here. <laughs> okay, nothing else. Just kind of seeing what I want to do. I think the butterfly is going to have to come off. Just kind of hoping to save it. But... Oh, that's cute though, huh? I like that. Okay. Yeah, I just want that just to kind of decorate that. So that's cool. And then we have these other little pieces I can use somewhere else. Oh, I'm still loving this Scotch Create glue. I just love it. I mean, it stays sticky and it doesn't dry out, or it hasn't so far. I really like it. And we live, you know, in Colorado. It's really dry here. There we go. That is so cute. I love that. Sorry, I'm blanking on the name right now. I don't know. Uh, I think I want this. Because it's really hard to get, like, anything in here. So I think what I want to do is make this into a pocket and right here. So, kind of just messing around, see what I have to use, you know. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Okay, let's cut that down. And then I can use either side. Ooh, I kind of like that side the best. Yeah, I like that. Um, <clears throat> I think I have my hole punch here, unless I put it up. Been putting some stuff up because the living room's just getting crazy. <laughs> You know what? Let's do this one. This one's still out. This will be kind of fun. This punch. So, I'm going to talk you through it again because I've had some people who are like, how did you do that? Um, so, you put it in and there's like a little notch right here. This is an EK success. And you put it where that notch is or that mark. 
and then you punch it in a really hard <laughs> paper and then you line it up with the little pieces on the side so you'll line it up there sorry guys right there and then punch there we go and that's how you use those They're, it's pretty simple but somebody was saying that they didn't even have like the little um, the designs on theirs like right here they didn't have the design and that's how you get you know your next one lined up so I don't know how I could have done that without, without a design there but that's kind of nice to have it you know just kind of put making this a little bit darker there we go I feel like you guys are not lined up correctly there we go maybe right there and then I'm just gonna put it here but like a little pocket so just around the three edges sides and the bottom my eyes aren't adjusting there we go there we go that's cute and then I will need like a piece to go in there for a, a uh, journaling spot so I'm just kind of going through my scraps to the side over here just to see what I have that you know maybe I want to cut down or use that one might be kind of fun so let me kind of trim that one down I like the idea of kind of having that red pop through and I'm just going to cut it out right there sorry about my arm <laughs> so it's just a little um, actually you know what I think it needs some coffee dye paper on the back or something to write on let me grab this before I trim it because it'll just be easier to trim it all at one time. <clears throat> so I hope you guys are doing well. Some of our friends are, you know, getting um, overwhelmed by all that's going on. So if you're getting overwhelmed, just know you're not the only one. It happens, you know. It definitely happens. But just know we're thinking about you. And like people keep saying, you know, we're all in this together and we are, you know. I know it's hard because we're not necessarily all in the same country or the same state but we're all in this together we're all you know in the same boat staying at home and trying to stay safe so trying to keep putting videos up so that we can entertain you guys or at least you can have something to watch instead of TV how many of you don't watch TV or don't watch movies? Um, we very rarely watch TV. We watch uh, Swamp People. Now we're watching like Swamp People Serpents or something, which is kind of fun. Oh, look. Uh, Should have looked at that, huh? <laughs> but um, that's kind of really fun, actually, because they're out there and they're chasing like anacondas and... Uh, bow constrictors and things like that and it's a, like an extra addition to swamp people 
and I really like that. So if you like that kind of thing, my mother-in-law would probably freak out. <laughs> Michelle, why are you making me watch snakes? She does not, does not like snakes. And I'm not fond of them, but man, that is such an interesting book or interesting show right now. <laughs> so Clint and I watch that, and then we watch MASH and news here and there, but that's about it. So I had a stamp on here, and I'm just covering that up. I tell you, my sinuses are just driving me crazy today. It makes me nervous because this one lady said uh, she woke up and started with a sniffle, and then she had the coronavirus. So, you know, I was telling you guys that the other day. It's kind of like, okay, what's... You know, I have a headache. Oh my gosh, do I have the coronavirus? But, you know, it's just, just a thing that goes through your mind. Oh. Sorry, I know I shouldn't talk about it because I know it's stressful. But sometimes, you know, I told Clint, you know, sometimes I have to talk about it to kind of decompress myself. It's kind of nice to talk it through with friends. So, that's cute. And it was another way to bring in the, the wall, er, wrapping paper. And that will go right there. I like that. That's really cute. No! I don't even know if they can hear it. Can you guys hear it? Not that you can answer me, but... I can barely hear it, so. There we go. Like that, that's really cute. <clears throat> oh, I should keep that. I know it's teeny tiny, but I did want to use, I don't even know if I pulled that out one of my little library book things, my library card. Let's pull a couple of them out. And I tossed this, but I think it'd be really cute as a decoration on here. It's tiny, but that's just cute. Okay, so I also have this one. That's kind of cute too. So yeah, these are little tiny um, library pockets that I made a while back. If I remember, I'll tag that video. It's just a super teeny tiny one. I think they're like an inch and a half by an inch when they're done. Isn't that cute? I like that. And then this one, let's put this on here maybe. Oh, that's like perfect. Okay. Oh. Just using up scraps and having fun. So, uh, Joy Defee, I think that's how you say it. I looked it up. Anyways, I always called her Joey. But Joy Defee is having a, um, positivity um, journaling thing. I think she's posting it on the 17th of April. And so uh, she was asking for people to participate. So we will all, whoever is doing that, will all be posting on April the 17th. So stay tuned for that. I will mention that a few more times just so we don't forget about it. And she always invites me, and sometimes I forget. So, such a sweet lady. There we go. Those are cute. And then that one, I may have already put it on that one. I have one in the front, one in the back. See, I put it on that one. That's okay. We'll take it off. Now I'll put it on there. And then the one in the front, I'm going to take this one 
off and then I'll put this one in. I need to do a little card for it. That way I don't have the same type on both sides. So that's cute. I like that. Okay, so let me get some stuff and I'll be right back. Okay, so one thing I want to do is put, you know, a little card in here. A little journaling card. So maybe this one. That is so cute. So I'm just kind of guessing about what size. <laughs> Because, you know, you know how it is. Let's see, where is it? Right here. That'll work. And then just trim that here. Yeah, that's cute. I like that. And then I'm using this cute little thing. Miss Lissette gave me this. And I love this corner rounder. There is um, three edges to it, and I really have not had an issue at all. It catches your little things in the back. The only thing I've had is like if it's too heavy of a, of a fabric paper, then I have a hard time punching it. <clears throat> but I still have my big corner chomper, and that works really good for it. So. There we go. That's cute. And I need like a tag or something in, in both of those too, don't I? I do. Okay, well let's just kind of make, use up our scraps. So I'm just going to trim probably just two from here because I like to not have them all the same, you know. So we got those two. And then let me see what else I have over here. Um... I've been kind of cleaning up my scraps. Well, really, I've been thinking about cleaning up my scraps. <laughs> Two totally different things, huh? <laughs> so, but I ended up having that really bad. Um, my neck was spasming in the last two days. That's why Clint was doing videos. And um, so I haven't done anything. No dishes, nothing, because I had to take a muscle relaxer, and that just kind of knocks me out, so. Okay, so I'm just going to do a uh, tag, simple tag, on these two. And then I think on these two, I'm going to just round the corners. Because I just like that look. Now, we are going to have a giveaway. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys so you can prepare for it or go ahead and subscribe. Um, we are going to have a giveaway when we hit 7,000. And you guys, we are zooming towards 7,000. So, this will be one of the gifts. Uh, and then, we'll have a couple of journals. And we'll have an ink blender. I'm not sure what else we'll have. But, I haven't decided how many um, gifts or whatever we're going to have. So, we'll see, you know, what I can put together between now and then. Because I think we, make, we went up like 50 in a day. And I expect it to go up pretty quick again in the near future because, you know, people share in our channel and stuff. So be sure and share. Uh, come over to the Ramblin' Crafters with an S over at Facebook. <clears throat> uh, I figured if you're a true crafter, then you have to ramble. I'm only saying that for people who say that ramblers are not true crafters. <laughs> And yes, I've had people say that. So, but you know, um, I'll a lot of times I will watch other people uh, do YouTube, and they'll be like, "I'm sorry, I'm rambling." So you know what? We're all ramblers. And the way I got my name is because this one lady, and I know her name, I know who it was, and she says, 
all you do is ramble and then she put like 20 dots right after that and it was kind of uh, uncalled for I thought you know a little bit rude and so it really upset me to start with and then Clint my husband if you guys don't know he said uh, you should change your channel to the rambling crafter so that's where we got our name but you know people are just hateful and now when people say oh you do nothing but ramble I'm like uh, don't you know what my channel name is <laughs> it's that for a reason <laughs> So it's kind of kind of funny because I still have people who are like, man, all you do is talk. I know. I know, and that's why my channel is called what it is called, you know. Uh, oh, I definitely want to cover that up. So, is that going to even... Nope. Okay, this was kind of fun. Oh, and it's like perfect. So, you know what? We're going to cut that down and make a little pocket. But yeah, it was just just people who don't like crafters who ramble I guess I don't know someone told me you can't be a serious serious crafter if you ramble or if you talk too much so, I don't know a bunch of you guys are serious crafters too so I don't know. just like okay whatever <laughs> whatever I think I might want to go ahead and use this since I still have it out. It's not like perfect or anything. It just, I prob probably would have rounded it, but that's okay. Made a thumb hole or something. But this works pretty well. Sorry, my hair is in the way. I did shower earlier. I have clean hair, <laughs> I guess is where I was going with that. Oh, you guys. But I do like the, um, I do like that. I think it's really fun. So, yeah, we'll put that there. And that's okay if, you know, you can kind of see through it. My glue. I do still have some of these glue pins, if you're interested in any. They are in our store, which is the Ramblin' Crafter on Etsy. And there's always a link below for that. And especially if you have art glitter glue, it's just really nice. To keep it from, you know, sticking up on you. So, and that will go there, and then we'll put another little piece of paper in there for journaling space spot. So maybe this one wasn't quite big enough for that, but I think it would fit in there. Okay. I like to put, um, you know, journaling spots as often as I can. So again, I'm just going to trim off that corner. Then you match it up and flip it. And then cut this one off and you'll have matching corners. Just in case you've never seen that. We do have a lot of new people. And so it's possible. Possible. You know, this has been really fun, a fun little project, because, you know, those little tiny scraps that you don't ever use, you know, I used them in here, and I think that's just really fun. You know, I've used lace scraps, and I've used um, paper scraps, ribbon scraps, all kinds of scraps. So, I need something for in here move this awesome book weight let's see maybe this one oh I could use that whole piece almost trim it down just a little bit it's a little bit tight and then it's a little bit wide and then we'll put that on 
coffee dyed paper. Make sure there's no oh, <laughs> no other prints on there. Yeah, um, with the Uhu glue, it kind of pops up off my paper the next day. But with the Scotch Create, I found that I do not have that issue, which I really like. And I don't know if it's just because it's so dry here or I'm not using enough or what. But in this coffee dye paper, I pick it up from GT Designs. And I think she's listed below as well. If not, let me know and I will uh, send you her information. But I love her coffee dye paper. I've been getting it f for a couple years. I really like it. <clears throat> And then I just want to, I think this just gives it a nice look to round the corners. I like it. I like it. And if you guys want an ink blender, my husband makes these, Clint makes these, and you just need to contact me on Etsy at, uh, just message me and I'll give you all the particulars what the wait time is, things like that, but he's, that's what he's doing outside right now, is kind of cutting those down to make some more. Um, let's see here, I need a, another tag of some sort. I try not to use the same paper, you know, throughout the book, because I do want it to be interesting. Here's a pretty one. That's pretty. Yeah, let's put that one in there. Okay. Lock it. Hi, honey. Done for the day? Yeah. Said, are you done? You've been really chopping. For probably almost an hour, huh? Seriously? Oh, well, I don't God. know. At least half an hour. Oh, God. However long this video is, but I don't really know how long it is. Look at that out there. Is it nice? Yeah. Yeah, it's supposed to be 60. 62 or something? Something like that, yeah. Lots of work. Most of it's all wet now. Even this piece was. Oh, really? Yeah. So you have to. I got a few out of it. Let's see, this one, I don't think I'm going to put anything on the back. Let's just round the corners just because I do like that look. I'm sure some pretty wood out there. I bet there is. Yeah, I was telling them to let us know if they're interested in Ink Blender. Yeah, because I'm going to do blanks today. So. Yeah, and that just means that he's... I got it. He's got to the point where they're really easy. So he has to, yeah. the first p couple of parts are kind of difficult. And then he'll be easy. So it only takes like a couple of, like an hour to finish it up or whatever. Yeah, the but blanks are this, the, the, the round pieces I use to carve. So I yeah. have to make blanks on my lathe. And, and he carves every carve. piece by Yeah, I carve by it with hand. a knife. Yeah. I'm gonna kind of pull that up because I didn't. And I like sand that. them on my lathe. So there we go. Oh that's man, that's cute. I like that. With that, that's just adorable. Okay. So this one is that secret hiding spot. So I don't think I'm gonna do anything else with that. Still take, like I said, it still takes just as long to decorate these as it does. You know, the larger ones, it's just, that's just what it does, you know. I think I'm going to leave that. I don't want to do tons where whoever gets this doesn't have anything to do, you know. <laughs> Which is sometimes nice, because the winner might not have anything. Uh, let's just round the corners on this one. Might not want to decorate it, but, I, you know, kind of want to leave a few few areas to decorate as well. There we 
we go. That's cute. I like that. Hey, we finished the one. That's awesome. Okay, let's see what we have on this one. I think that is so cute. We need a card there, huh? I still have this one. So I think I'm going to trim that down. <clears throat> Just round the corners. This would be really fun. I mean, you could journal on the back. It's light enough, I think. But you could also just kind of decorate it, make a pocket or something, or just, you know, pull out everything that's in here and uh, put your own stuff in here, you know. It's totally whatever you want to do. Whoever ends up with it. Okay, I need, what do I need there? Ooh, I have this pretty blue piece. Let's use that. I really like that, especially because that paper has some blue on it. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't even know if they've heard you for, for today, for this video. Fabric flip, isn't that cute? Love it. Okay, here is a pocket. Now this one, or an envelope, this one I want to make kind of like what we did with the other one. In fact, I think I'm going to use the same paper. I love this paper. There it is. There it is. Um, I think I'm going to use this other piece of it here. It's kind of like uh, fishing and stuff, which, or bird watching maybe. That's pretty. Isn't that pretty? Who sits it there? I can't remember. Sorry, guys. Yeah. My brain just quit working. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to go with this side. I love that. That's so pretty. Yeah, it has, isn't that pretty? I yeah, like it. Absolutely. It's really nice. I think I'm going to do it like that. So. <coughs> Wrapping paper, isn't it? It is, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I've never seen that before. Seen she also sent me paper. the, the wow. Eleanor Roosevelt stuff. And for some reason, my brain just isn't wrapping oh. around who it was. When that, uh, my uh, brain just quit working. <sighs> well, we ha we've had quite a bit of happy mail recently, and so uh, I just totally. <laughs> yeah, it's really neat what she sent. Yes, yeah, so such fun. sweet. Yeah. That's I think hard. I want to take it down just a little bit more. Just because I thought this was really cute, and there we go. Yeah. Not quite a bit. Uh, oh, good. Now they have to dry. Yeah. Quite a couple pieces I'll use. When we went and got wood a while back, Clint's using that wood. And man, it makes for some of the most beautiful ink blenders. It does too. So colorful and just beautiful. So, of course, I did it a little bit small. That's okay. That's okay. Let's see if I can get in here and ink it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. <coughs> But yeah, some of, so the ink blenders right now have a lot of color. Um, some of them, anyways. Some of them still won't, but yeah, some, some of them really still have. White. Just depends. Have a lot of color. <laughs> okay, now here I need another little piece to make a pocket. Okay, I'll pull. Let's see, what do I want to use? Do I have this piece still? That's cute. 
Ooh, yeah, we'll use that. Okay, just kind of looking and <coughs> looking and hoping I cut it in the right spot. It's pretty good. Oh, it's starting to get windy out there. Yeah, it's breezy, that's for sure. I think I'm going to have it open from the top here. So I think I'm going to use that thing again. <coughs> and <coughs> do that. Sometimes it's hard. Come on, muscles, you can do it. <laughs> okay, got it. Whew. This one isn't usually hard, but the paper right here is really thick. There we go. So let me clean this, <clears throat> some of this up. He's playing or something. Okay. Yeah. Remember how precious she used to chase your tail? Yeah, our first baby was precious, and she was not a player. Nope. But man, she sometimes she'd just start chasing her tail. The funniest thing, every time we would just laugh. Oh my God, it was so funny. I lost a piece of this. Especially when she was older. <laughs> Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> but yeah, she'd get a wild hair and she would just run and we would laugh. Yeah, it was something else. <laughs> One time she fell in the bathtub and then it was only her tail that was wet. <laughs> and she Not chased like it and chased it and chased it. It was the funniest thing. We laughed and laughed and laughed. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it was quite humorous, wasn't it, honey? Yeah, it was. That was funny. I think I'm going to cut there. this piece down. It was in the apartment. We got Precious. We got our first cat. Because we couldn't have kids, you know. And we got our first cat when uh, we first got married. It was a month, I think, after we got married. Yeah. Or two. Yeah, two. It was in April. It was in April. And we got married in February. Okay. But, yeah, Clint, uh, I was working, and he said... Honey, you know what our house needs? And I said, what does our house need? He said, a cat. And I said, you know what? You are correct. And uh, so he went to the animal shelter and picked out Precious. He went and looked, and then I think I went with you afterwards, didn't yeah. I? After work. And he had his eye on a different kitty, but it was an impound. And so the mama was coming to pick it up. And then she said, but have you seen this one? And oh. We knew that was who we who we were supposed to have, was yeah. sweet little precious. She was something else. She was a little precious little girl. We were going to name her Hershey because yeah. she had like brown on her lips, like she had been eating chocolate. And then Clint was making breakfast the next morning right after we got her, and he said, she's so precious. And I said, that's what we need to call her. Yep. So, she's been our only precious. I mean, some of the other ones are precious acting. That's not their name. But, yeah, Clint was like, like Jazzy Lynn, he was saying, oh, we should name her Precious. If we didn't already have a, pre you know, hadn't already had a Precious, then we probably would have. But, but our Precious was our only Precious. Yeah, she was a sweetheart. Uh, Dee Dee, if you're watching, you can have Jazzy Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. She said she had a Jazzy Lynn look-alike, and it disappeared. 
I saw, we saw your video today and Clint was like, oh no, she had one. Just let me know. We'll bring you another look like. I'm sure we can find one somewhere. No. <laughs> Not Jazzy Lynn. I guess we'll keep her. She's a pretty sweet little girl, I tell you. So this is that other hidden tuck spot, hidden um, journaling spot, secret, I guess is what I call it. So I'm just going through here. We're almost done. And then I'll be put aside until, you know, we do the drawing or whatever. So I told them what it was. Oh, yeah. yeah. So that they could prepare or, you know, they could, um, yeah, that, they could subscribe and maybe win yeah. it. That's cute. I think I want that little bird in it. But yeah, we're we're having fun kind of getting things together for the giveaway. Yes. Which, like I told them, you know, it's coming up pretty darn quick. I was, we were kind of yeah. surprised how fast it's going right now. I know it's a lot of people are home and they're tired of watching TV, maybe, and so they want to uh, <clears throat> watch our channel. So we're still glad to have you. However, you oh, got here. Yes. One of my friends yesterday on Facebook, she said, I am so sick of um, screens. Hi, Aunt Beck, if you're watching. Oh, hi, Aunt Beck. And uh, she said, I am so sick of screens. So she went to her craft room or to her craft area and started sewing. Um, she's been making quilts and stuff lately, which is kind of fun. Oh, has she really? I yeah, she really has, yep kind of thinking about putting that there for another another piece because this has a bunny on it and I don't necessarily want to showcase the bunny but I think that would be really cute and kind of make that more of a usable area yeah she um, she actually and I'll if I remember, I'll tag her below. If not, and you're interested, then let me know. But she um, did that one quilt that we want to try, where you cut up all your scraps and use like a jelly roll. Oh yeah. She's been. She made a quilt or two quilts, I think, out of that. She made it so large she had to separate it. Really? Wow. <laughs> I love so, to see it. Yeah. yeah, I have to show you. It's on my Facebook page. Oh, okay. She's That's been sharing funny. it on my Facebook and. Yeah, it was really, uh, it was really interesting, and she just, like, I think she cut all the pieces herself. Oh, wow. You know, so it was. So it was the jelly roll? Yeah, she cut all the little pieces, you know, from her scraps. Wow. But yeah, it's a jelly roll where you just put them together, and then you sew wow. the next one, and you put them together, and you sew the next, and so huh. it's just like strips of fabric. Oh, wow. I think they say you can make like a quilt in an hour or something. Yeah. Yeah. Making one on my machine. Wouldn't oh, wouldn't that be cool. fun? You'd love oh, it. Oh, it would. Unless you hold the fabric and I'm just cranked. You'd just be like, Oh, uh, Sophia, what are you doing? I think I'm going to put this here as like a tuck spot. Because I feel like I still need something here. And I like that. That's really cute. And then we are just about done with this. I think I do want to put like a little tassel, which I just made uh, inspired by Crafty Bean. And I think I want to make a little one for this, but maybe we'll do that another time. We don't have to do that today. I don't know what our time is like, but I imagine it's getting pretty, pretty close. Sophia, you're going to get glue on your nose. that there. That's kind of cute. And then we'll... <laughs> oh, you guys. Miss Sophia. You guys know we have cats, I tell you. If you don't know, we do have nine cats. And yes, we're kind of nuts. So, just in case you were wondering. It wasn't nice of you guys to say we're nuts. I know. Can you believe they said that? I tell you. 
<laughs> uh, I'm sure Lizette is thinking, oh my gosh, how in the world? Because you, you guys have to be nuts. Miss Lizette just got a um, cat. One cat. And I keep telling her, you need more than one. <laughs> She's like, I don't think so. He's kind of a little troublemaker, which is kind of funny. But they need to have little double troublemakers, wouldn't she, Daddy? Yeah. They keep each other enter entertained. That's always a nice thing. So this is just another little journaling card. And I think we're going to wrap this up. And the next time you see this, it'll be in a giveaway. So I'm kind of excited about this. It was so fun. I love it. And look how big and fat it is. I love that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure and hit that subscribe button so that you're notified of any of our videos. We do try to post daily. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It helps out our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys.